since this is a hockey channel and I tend to do rants every so often, I've actually put two other videos on hold so I can film this video because I'm just absolutely sick of the subject and I want to close it out. We have, or I have not seen anywhere or heard anywhere except Anthony Stewart talk about this whole Don Cherry thing from a perspective of an immigrant or a perspective of a minority in hockey. Because quite frankly, there aren't many. Anthony Stewart and his brother uh, are just a few of them and there aren't very many. Uh, David Amber, uh, for example, the whole hockey night Punjabi, but I haven't heard them say anything about it, so I'm, I'm going to, and um, so note something, I'm not Canadian, regardless of what my shirt and my hats signifies, I'm not Canadian, um, I am actually from Guatemala, um, I was adopted when I was eight months old and I was brought to the United States, and I fell in love with hockey when I was about four, and I'm just sick of it. The whole Don Cherry thing. So, on Saturday night, Don Cherry, who has been in the hockey business for God knows how long, and he's been on TV for the last 30 years since something offensive, again, and people are just now taking offense to it because he decided to use the phrase, you people. Let me, let me, let me flush it out as a Latino who loves hockey, um, and there really are many of us, and when I do find one, it's fantastic, and I usually try to become friends with them. But it hasn't happened I, offline. But that's beside the point. The fact that Don Cherry... I, let me, I hate Don Cherry anyway. Like, I never liked him in the first place. I think he's just... He's a senile old man who wears stupid suits. I know people in Canada love the suits. But the suits are so stupid. And when he called the Canes jerks is well, the moment I just stopped caring about Don Cherry. Because they went out and celebrated and did this cool thing. And he's up there saying that they're a bunch of jerks while he's wearing these stupid ass suits. Like, what the hell? Like, seriously? A hypocrite. God. So, you know, and apparently he has a track record of, you know, being sexist. Doesn't like people who speak French, uh, apparently. And I know he's got a track record of not liking European hockey players. And he's real, and he's just a real proud Canadian. And it got out of hand this weekend when he just straight up said that, you, he just said you people should support the military because they paved the way for you to come, and so you should pay to buy to wear a poppy. People who want to buy poppies don't buy poppies. Like it's that simple. I mean, no one. I mean, it, one person's telling you to do it. So should you? No, not not even in the slightest. Um, that's a part of freedom. Uh, if you don't want to, you don't have to. So don't. Um, I mean, you could support the military without having to do that. You don't even have to support the military. I mean, it is what it is. But. I think a lot of people, and I've seen Don Cherry defenders, now they're deciding to just say, hey, screw you sports, not screw you Rogers, we're going we're gonna to bail on you. And I've seen people say, you know, oh, so you're not going to bail on them because of their phone prices and the ridiculousness there, but you're going to bail on them because some, some old white guy said you people. Yeah, people have the freedom to do that. Is it right? No. Are they doing it? Yes. That's not what this is about. We're, oh God. I don't really know where I'm going with this video, I'm just... Trying to get it all out because I'm just so sick of hearing Don Cherry's name. Like, it's ruins my day. It's 10.42 in the morning. And I'm sitting here listening to Hockey Sundra at noon. Listening to Jeff Merrick, who I love Jeff Merrick, don't get me wrong. But he's rambling on about Don Cherry and how it feels wrong. And how he, as a white person, can't say anything. Then don't. Talk about hockey. It's what you're paid to do. You too, Don Cherry. Just f shut up and talk about hockey. That's why I listen to your damn podcast. The two quick, the quick two minute section at the beginning that should have ended with Anthony Stewart talking about it because his dad is an immigrant and he is a minority. That's where it should have ended. The phrase "you people" cuts a little bit deeper than I think, and I'm going to reverse this. You people will think. I know they use it as a comedy trope on on sitcoms when a white person will slip up and say "you people" and not mean "you people," but he actually means "you people" in a different sense. Which I mean, sure, sometimes it's funny, but. And I'm not someone who gets offended easily. And quite frankly, when I heard you people, I was like, okay, cool. And then it was blown completely out of proportions. And now everyone's apologizing. And quite frankly, I'm glad Don Cherry isn't apologizing. But I'm sure as hell glad he got fired. Stupid old man. He's so far out of the current game of hockey, it doesn't even make sense to have him on for his hockey talk. Like, seriously. And this is what you're going to fire him for? Not because he's an old dinosaur in the past of hockey, still still thinking like hockey like hockey was being thought in the 70s, but because he decided to say something that he said so many times 
in the past, he just didn't use that particular phrasing. And for some reason, that particular phrasing just makes every white person on the planet go into white guilt mode. Stop! Anthony Stewart said that he, he was indifferent to the whole you people notion because he has just lived through it. Not that he had to live through it to get to the NHL, and he said that. You had, he had to block out everything, and that's how I've been going about it, too. Look, I'm a 5'2 male Latino. I have literally been called everything in the book. And like I said earlier, not Mexican, I'm Guatemalan. And I've been called midget, I've been called, and you know, that's an offensive word, and I've been called little, and I've been called a child, and I don't care, I've learned to block it out. Stop, 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 stop. What am I trying to say? Stop with the white guilt, seriously. We can, we have our own voice. And the part that pisses me off, this happened a couple months ago in the hockey community too. And again, Steve Dangle, who I love. I love Steve Dangle. And again, their, their podcast this on Sunday was just absolutely destroyed by white people trying to make up for what he said. Stop. You're not the ones who should have a voice here. You're not a minority. And you're not an immigrant. If you're an immigrant, and I don't think any of them are. Actually, Jesse Blake is a minority, so I mean, and you know what? That's where it should go. It should go to him, and that's where it should stop. They should have never continued the conversation after Jesse Blake gave his opinion, which I don't remember if he did. I fell asleep during the podcast because I was just so sick of it. I didn't want to listen to it. He just put on his background noise as I was sleeping. Jesse Blake and Anthony Stewart, in both segments of both podcasts, should have ended the conversation, and then they should have moved on with hockey. But no, they have this sort of, you know... Oh shit, everything we've ever done is terrible, so we must just try to make up for it every time something happens. And not when nothing happens, because when nothing's happening, we don't give a Quit. As I was saying, a couple months ago, something happened in the hockey world where someone said something racist. I don't exactly remember what it was. I just remember people starting to donate to minority hockey causes. Oh, it was something about gay. It was, it was, a, it was a remark about gay people, I think. Yeah. I don't remember who it was, but they started donating money to different gay causes and stuff like that. Stop. That's a bribe for us to shut the hell up. It's a bribe for 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 the minorities. It's a bribe for the the, the, the immigrants, the, the black people, the Latinos, the gays. It's a bribe for us to shut up. Stop donating to causes because you feel bad. Stop donating to causes so we forget about it and move on. It annoys the shit out of me when that happens. Donate to a cause because you agree with them, not because you feel like shit. That someone of your own race and your own sexuality decided to f*** up. Like, seriously, stop. And that's mainly the parts that bother me about this whole Darren Don Cherry thing. is that the white people have completely blown it out of proportion. Completely and utterly blown it out of proportion. Just like they do every other time something happens. The white guilt kicks in, and they just have to make up for it. You don't have to make up for anything. We know you're shitty. We know there are people in, 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 the, in the white straight community that are shitty. But as my dad says, people overall are good. And the news doesn't make it seem like that. And the internet doesn't make it seem like that. But overall, there are more people, more good people in the world than there are bad people. And the few bad people get all the press because people, because the news needs something to feed off of. That's a whole other rant for another day. But one Don Cherry out of the millions of Canadians, and of course there are his supporters, but I mean, come on. They have a whole different thing with Don Cherry. It's not about, of course, a lot of them are defending what he said. In the grand scheme of things, what he was trying to say was people should buy poppies to support their military. He didn't have to throw the new people thing, but he did. And he was talking about the immigrants at the time. So obviously, context is lost. Did he call immigrants you people? Yes. Did he call minorities you people? Yes, to a lesser extent, but yes. And so, people who are defending him are like, well, he was talking about Canadians in general. And I get it. I get both sides. Should he have been fired? Yeah, but that, he should have been fired a long time ago. If this happened to me, then got him fired, finally, fine. Whatever. But you white people gotta stop with this shit.